we greet the church with the peace of the Lord Jesus. I'd like to invite the brethren to stand up in reverence to reading of the word that is going to be read in Jeremiah. Book of the prophet Jeremiah in chapter chapter 50 chapter 51 chapter 51 verse 6 Jeremiah 51 verse 6 just give me a second actually 51 verse 50 Jeremiah 51 verse 50 Amen Thus says the word of the Lord You who have escaped the sword get away do not stand still Remember the Lord afar off and let Jerusalem come to your mind. Amen. Lord, we plea that you continue to speak with us through your word as we pray to you in the name of Jesus. Amen. The church may be seated. Firstly, it is important to know who Jeremiah was. Jeremiah was a prophet of the Lord. He was called during a period in which Israel was living in a in a spiritual situation that was far away from the Lord. Israel, the people, the chosen people, a nation that was elected by God so that God could fulfill His project because everything that God had done through through Israel when he calls Abraham God wanted to materialize make it palpable an eternal project that God had for man. Man that had from ever since the Garden of Eden. Man had abandoned this project when they, when man disobeyed an ordinance from God. So man was destitute from the project of God. Man, when I say man, I mean men, women, human beings, adolescent, youth, because in Adam and Eve was there represented humanity. So when man disobeys God, Man goes away from the original project of God because the project of God was not to create man in order for man to be subdued by sin so that man would live suffering and crying 
but this was a consequence. Many people still say to this day, why God Why God allowed this to happen? God allowed this to happen because man was created according to God's similitude. God has not created man as, as a robot. We are not robots. I wish we were a robot, maybe we would not be suffering as much as we are today. But God gave man free will. So in other words, man can judge his own actions. And there is a sentence that says the following. There is a saying that says the following. Man Man is, is the result of his choices, or what he feeds. Man is the fruit of that. Man is fruit of his habits. If man chooses to live a life of uh, going to bed early, today, in, in our days, is impossible. But if you choose to go to bed early and eat well, do not uh, allow himself to take part in the things of the world that the enemy made available to humanity. This person is going to live well. And if that person. And actually, there are two things for men. Men may, may want to choose, or may, men may reject something in, in man's free will. Man has two options. Men can choose or reject it. Isn't it true? Maybe rejection is better than the choice when you think about it. Because when we accepted Jesus, we chose Jesus, we chose to reject the world. So it was, there was a, a choice and was a rejection. It was the old man. We rejected the old man. We let go of, our, of the old man. The old man that we were, that Nicodemus didn't understand. When Jesus comes to Nicodemus, he was a prince in Israel. He was a knowledgeable man, uh, a man with culture. He was not just a common person. You're not making exception of anyone here. Because for God, person is not better than the other. There's no rich or poor, beautiful, ugly, <laughs> intelligent, and a person that is not intelligent. For God, there's no difference. Because God looks at us in the same way, uh, with, uh, looks to us with a gaze of love. And Nicodemus came, went to be with Jesus because he was there. He was fearful that somebody was went there during the night because was afraid that somebody would see him. Because many people are ashamed of going to Jesus, and Jesus explained to Nicodemus and said the following, Nicodemus, I see one thing in you. You know what it is, Nicodemus? You're a very knowledgeable person. You 
but there is one thing that is necessary to you is to be born again right forget about everything that you have learned to this day forget about your old self and you will be born again of the water and of the spirit and Nicodemus still questioned how being an old grown man be born again go back to the womb of my mother and that's the doubt of somebody who entered here that person is questioning the Lord but the Lord is so wonderful that he will deliver me this person who entered here tonight because the word says that you will know the truth and the truth shall set you free isn't it true it's not a beautiful words or a beautiful speech rehearsed speech that is going to deliver man it is the truth that Jesus is revealing blessed be the name of the Lord so here the prophet Jeremiah he was called at that moment a man was away from the Lord and there he had a mission that was very difficult he had to prophesy to the people to the Jewish people that the Jewish people is going to be taken away captive he didn't want to be that prophet he, uh, a prophet that is loved is one who makes prophecies it's like what religion says today a prophet that prophesies prosperity hey I'm going to prophesy here that tomorrow you're gonna buy a car going to prophesy that tomorrow you're going to pay that death that's a prophet that is beloved but Jeremiah was a prophet that did the opposite he said you will be taken captive to the Bible to Babylon you know why because you are in disobedience because you are not walking according to the precepts of the Lord the Lord asked me to tell you this and he was persecuted the church where uh, prosperity is prophesied those churches are full they are growing but are they growing spiritually speaking? Are they growing in quality or in quantity? Because Jesus said that narrow is a path that leads to heaven, and wide is the path that will lead man to eternal perdition. And many are going to go through this wide path Jesus never said sometimes we rejoice when we see the church full or, or the seminar where everybody's there it's a blessing but Jesus never deceived a man Jesus said that the path is narrow it is difficult to renounce to deny yourself is difficult the path for you and I is difficult is to deny your old self is difficult but in Jesus we can deny ourselves in Jesus because Jesus he denied himself before us in our behalf so the word he says you who have escaped the sword 
get away, do not stand still. Because Jeremiah was prophesying that there was going to be a judgment. The sword speaks of a judgment. And today, my brethren, man lives under a judgment because your life there in the future, your eternal life. A, a life or a life of perdition. You can live eternity with Jesus or an eternity without Jesus. There are two options for us. But Jesus said, you have escaped the sword. He is speaking to us, to the church. We escaped from the judgment. Because Jesus was able to reach us. He was able to take us away from under this judgment. Prophet Isaiah says, The punishment that brings peace to you, he carried upon himself. Jesus carried And there in Romans 8, 1 says the following, Because now no condemnation is for those who are in Christ Jesus. You no longer live under a judgment. We don't lo no longer live under a condemnation. And here this word says, You who have escaped the sword, get away. Do not stand still. Salvation is dynamic. It's something that we have to fight for every day. The Lord has given a vision here. There was uh, a bad shit and people was the church was walking under this bad shit and a man said I'm gonna get out from under this shit and he, went, and he got out but when he came back he came back with wounds on his body because the world is out there to hurt us in every aspect the world is out there because the world is under a judgment. And when this man came back, he would receive here the care and he would say the following. Here is my place. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Right. Like the psalmist said, and you will inhabit in the house of the Lord for for many days. Long days speaks of, about eternity. So it is a struggle in, inside of us. Do not stand still. It's, so it's dynamic. Do not stand still. When Moses he places he places Joshua as his uh, replacement. Joshua received a word. Meditate on this law day and night. Because if you do not do this, you, we are going to run into risk. We need to meditate on the law of the Lord day and night. Because because then, because the, our old self wants to go back. Our old self is ready to go back. But when we place in the first place the word of the Lord and the things of the Lord, this old man is buried. Blessed be the name of the Lord. So do not stand still. Remember the Lord afar off far off. 
even if you are distant, maybe you have made a decision and said, no, hey, I was upset, I don't want anymore. I'm going to stay afar off. I'm going to serve the Lord afar off. Look, the word for you is the following. Afar off. Remember the Lord. Even, even if you are going through trouble and difficulty, even if you are far away from the Lord, remember the Lord. Do it according to the prodigious son. He was far away from the father, but he said, I will get up and I'm going to go to be with my father. Because he remembered his father. He remembered the teachings of his father. He remembered the time when he was living with the father. So remember the Lord. And let Jerusalem come to your mind. Jerusalem, we are seeing here Sunday morning on um, Sunday schools the study of Nehemiah. Nehemiah was a person that was far away. He was living in the fortress of Susa. But he remembered Jerusalem was there working, involved with the things of the, the king, but in his heart, Jerusalem was still there. So he says, and let Jerusalem come to your mind. So now you are, you are at work, maybe you are being persecuted, being misunderstood, but your heart is Jesus. This is the project. You are there, but you are thinking, Oh, I wish I were in Jerusalem. Oh, I wish I could be inside of the project of God. And that's what Nehemiah did. He remembered of Jerusalem. And when Daniel, Daniel was also he was a contemporary of Nehemiah. Daniel was also, uh, he went to an exile. The word registers that Daniel prayed three times a day and his window was open towards Jerusalem. His prayers, his mind, the window of his bed would point to Jerusalem. So we need to pray. We need to always walk and think on this project, Jerusalem, which is eternity. And Jesus said, I'll go and I'll prepare a place for you. And Jesus went. And Jesus said, Whatever I am, my desire is that you are there as well. So there is a desire in the heart of Jesus that we also be there, there with him in eternity. You have escaped the sword. Get away. Do not stand still. Do not stand still. Keep on moving. Many times we need to to look toward Jesus only, the altar and finisher of our faith. Because we have not been called by man. We have been called by the Lord. Jesus one day has called us and it was fulfilled there a prophecy that was said by the Lord Jesus Jesus himself 
it was not you who have chosen me, but I chose you. You have escaped the sword. Get away. Do not stand still. Remember the Lord afar off. And let Jerusalem come to your mind. Amen. Let us... Let's praise the name of the Lord with a song. Perfect love. This love that one day is able to reach us. We were not deserving, but this love was able to reach us. Invite the church to stand up. Go and do not stop. And can we remember an example on the word? Can we remember? We can remember of a lot and his wife. The instruction from the Lord was that they should go to the mounts because there was a judgment over Sodom, Sodoma. And the instruction was go 
go towards the mountains. There is a judgment in Sodoma and Gomorrah. You are saved from this judgment, but do not stop. Continue. Go towards the mountains. And sadly, we don't want to condemn anyone because it's not, it's not, we're not, it's not our place to do this because judgment comes as the Lord's. But the wife, a lot, she looked behind. She looked back. She probably was missing the place that she was leaving. She thought, oh, I'm just going to take a pick and the Lord's going to forgive it. And when, when she looked back, that's when she, she lost everything. So, go and do not stop, do not stand still. It's not time for us to look back. Like many in, in Egypt, when the Jewish people left Egypt, a few said, but Moses, you brought us from to the, into this desert to suffer. There's no water. We don't have supplies. Our children are suffering. Moses, in the Egypt, it was better. It was not. Well, there was food there. In Egypt, Egypt is offering lots of food, especially food to the youth. Lots of food. But my brethren, in Jesus, we are more than victorious in Jesus. We will be victorious because Jerusalem and Jesus has come to our mind. And we know that we cannot exchange what is being prepared for us an eternity with God. It is difficult sometimes to uh, Jerusalem to come to our minds. Some might say this is a utopia. This is something that you are coming up with, but that's not true. That's this is the truth. Because faithful is the one who promised and let Jerusalem come to your mind let eternity come into your mind remember that our lives here is 70, 80, 90 years of age I was speaking with a friend here and even Moses said that man's life is all the way to 70, but after that it's just suffering and tiredness. But the immortal soul, where will it go? Our soul deserves an eternal rest, and we're going to fight. So you have escaped from the sword. Get away. Do not stand still. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, we praise you. Give you honors, God. Because one day was pleasing to you to call us to leave under this project. We praise you, Lord, because we are not deserving Um, with in, the, in the, such a large world you called us in the same way that you called Abraham you also called us 
One day we heard your voice. Lord, great is this love. O oh, God of glory, blessed be your name. Because soon we will be with you on the eternal mansions. Blessed be your name, Lord. Hallelujah, Lord. Because our names are written in the book of life. As it was read in the morning, this verse, Lord. Do nev don't ever erase our name from this book of life, Lord. But on the contrary, that you may add the name of our family members so that they may be a target uh, of this so great salvation. We pray to you in the name of Jesus. Amen. The church may be seated. Our service has come to its end. Is there any announcement? Only informing the church that Pastor Ronildo is on a trip. He is in London. There's a seminar that is taking place there. But the church continues. Amen. Continue. Moving forward. Tomorrow we're going to have our tomorrow morning. We're going to have a Sunday school at 10 30 in the morning. And our evening service at 7 30 p.m. And I say the peace of the Lord to everyone. If you still need a prayer, we are here at your disposal. Amen.